Hello, my name is Hans George Campbell and today I want to show you these 10 Matchbox cars from 2007 and 2008. Um, these cars here, up to this point, these first seven cars here, they're from the 2007 uh, set. And these remaining three cars here are from the 2008 set. Now, the carding, the card is very similar between the years of, I believe, 2005 to 2009, I believe. I think it's for a, five, a four or five year period that this, you know, the cards look like this. You know, the blister packs, they look like this. Um, they didn't change it. Uh, Mattel Toy Company didn't change the, the card style until around, toward the end of 2009. If I remember correctly so yeah so whenever you see the blister packs the matchbox blister packs that look like this this is from a certain time period you've got to, if you're going to be collecting matchbox vehicles you have to um, remember the different time periods you have to be become familiar with the different style packaging okay um, so this style packaging right here is from 2005 to 2009. Okay, so whenever you see a Matchbox car in this style packaging right here, you know what years that packaging is from. Just by looking at the packaging. You don't even have to look at the back. Okay, this, the first seven cars here are from 2007, and these remaining three are from 2008. So, when I come back, I will start showing you all of the different cars, you know, individually. Okay, first up, we've got the uh, Ford GT. I think uh, this is a beautiful car. Now, I found out something recently that I didn't know. There is a difference between the Ford GT40 and the Ford GT. The castings may look similar, but they're not the same. There are slight differences between the castings. Now, the GT, the Ford GT is nice, but I think I prefer the GT the GT40 casting. That's the one that I'm mainly going to collect is that one. But this car is nice. The Ford GT is nice. It's it's not bad. I also found out something. Uh, where they get the term 40, that means that the roof of the car is 40 inches from the ground. Wow. And think about that for a moment. The roof of the car is only 40 inches from the ground. That's just slightly above three feet. So this guy's ass is sitting really close to the pavement when he's driving this car. Oh yeah, I couldn't help but think that. I mean, oh my God. I don't think the Ford GT or the Ford GT40, I don't think these cars are, are designed for full-size people like me. You know, saw a, a big man is six foot four, you know. We couldn't fit. We couldn't fit comfortably in a car like that. I think these cars are best suited for for shorter people or smaller people, you know, because of, of how small the interior is. I mean, oh my God! Could you see, you know, so, uh, a, man, a big man, six foot four, driving a car like that? That's only the roof's only forty inches from the ground. Yeah, 
Yeah, I didn't know that about the GT40. That's why it was called GT40, because the roof of the car was only 40 inches from the ground. And I found that very interesting. I thought, well, okay, I'm going to share that information with you guys when I showed this, this car. But there it is, the Ford GT. It's um, number 13. I think they were still doing 75 vehicles uh, in 2007. This car is from 2007. Okay, and there's the back of the packaging, in case you're interested in that, you know. I mean, how does Mattel Toy Company expect people to read all this fine print? Even with a, a five-power magnifying glass, I had a hard time reading some of this information. The text is just way too small. Way too small. But, yeah, there's the Ford... GT. I think it's a nice looking car. I think it's nice. All right, next up is the Dodge Charger. <coughs> I think it's pretty cool. I just love that. Was it a candy apple green uh, paint job? The antifreeze green has more of a yellow tinge or tint to it. So, and a lot of people mistaken. Uh, the candy apple green color for uh, antifreeze green, and they're not the same. Antifreeze has a slight more yellow tint to it. But I like both colors of green, especially in the original Redline Hot Wheels. So that was a beautiful color for, for the Redline Hot Wheels. But yeah, this car has got nice detailing on the front, okay, and on the rear it's got tampo. Yeah, front and rear. Wheels look nice. They're not too overbearing. Looks like they would fit a car like that really well, you know, in real life, you know. But yeah, this is 2007 packaging. 2007 packaging. This is car number 14 out of 75. All right, next we have the Ford Mustang GT concept car. Now, this car almost did not make it today because, you know, on, here on Desirable Matchbox, I prefer showing only the nicest looking Matchbox vehicles, the most desirable of Matchbox vehicles. And the ones that don't fit that category, I usually show those uh, on my What the Fuck Wednesdays videos, where I show you the ugliest Matchbox vehicles ever produced. And believe it or not, this car I almost put into that category. The reason for that is because Mattel Toy Company, I don't like the way they're doing a lot of these cars today. Instead of having the roof painted black, okay, it's they, they tinted the whole plastic window and the roof is just part of, you know, the windows. It's not die-cast metal. It's not part of the die-cast metal body as it should be. I don't like, like it when they do cars like this. And I think a lot of you Matchbox collectors out there, you feel the same way. You don't like the cars when they're done like this. You know, this roof should be die-cast metal like the rest of the car, just painted black or whatever color you want to paint the roof. So because of that, this car almost did not make it today. I almost put this in the uh, category of What the Fuck Wednesdays, where I show you the ugliest Matchbox vehicles you know, ever produced. But other than the plastic, you know, the roof being part of the, the plastic windows, it's still a nice looking car. You know, it's not bad. It's got tampo, I think. A little bit of tampo on the front, or at least the stripes. It's got a nice tampo on the rear, so that's pretty nice, you know. This is from 2007. It's number um, 16 of 75 models. And there's the back of the packaging, in case you want to try to read any of that. <laughs> Next, we have this really nice um, 
Austin minivan. It's number 31 of 75 vehicles. And I really like this, this vehicle here. This is reminiscent of the old Lesty Matchbox. I mean, when I see vehicles like this, I think that is so retro. It's just very nice. I mean, the way they did the tampo on the front is very nice. Very nicely done. No tampo on the rear, but the side there, tampo looks really good. Side tampo looks really good. And the front tampo looks really nice. The way they did the grill work and the lights and everything, that is very nice actually, the way it was done. Yeah. Very nice car. This is number 31 of 75 vehicles. This is from 2007. And there's the back of the packaging in case you want to try to read um, any of that. Next up we have probably my favorite vehicle in the, in the entire 2007 lineup of 75 vehicles. And that's the Routemaster Bus, number 34 of 75 vehicles. I just love the way the original Matchbox logo was printed here. I mean, I just love that. I love this bus. And uh, I just love this bus. It's just so damn cool. You know, so damn cool. I love these buses. This, too, reminds me of the original Lessing Matchbox vehicles you know especially from the 60s this is so 60s you know 60s matchbox you know very nice very nice matchbox bus it's number 34 of the set of 75 vehicles it's a heavy vehicle this is a heavy damn bus I don't think it's going to roll down the track too good because it's kind of top heavy you know I mean it's, it's tall you know and it's, it's narrow you know but yeah, I think a lot of people they'll look, they'll just buy these buses here just to look at because they're so nice, you know. But there's a bag of the packaging. Apparently, you could send in for this like I don't know a poster right here. You could send in for that. Yeah, get your action poster. Yeah. So I just want to show that. Yeah. Alrighty. When I come back. Um, I will show you the remaining five cars. Alright, next up we have number 63 of the 75 car set from 2007. Okay, the 2007 Matchbox lineup. This is the dirt hauler, and um, the this dumper right here used to be all metal, and I'm wondering when they actually changed that to plastic, because now this dump part right here is plastic. It's no longer all metal, and I I showed um, an earlier version of this. Uh, dumper right here. I believe it was, it was from the 90s, from 1994, I believe. Either 94 or 96, somewhere around there. I think I showed the dumper and it still had metal. Back when Matchbox was, was owned by Tyco Toy Company, this truck had a, you know, a metal dumper. So I'm wondering when this dumper was changed to plastic. So if any of you guys know that, just leave a comment in the comment section. But yeah, I think it's nice. I, I like the way the tampo was done on the side of the dumper. I think that looks very nice. The body is still all metal. Of course, the bottom part's plastic, like before. The wheels look nice. Those wheels suit that model very well. So I like that. But, yeah, that's the dirt hauler. And there's the back of the packaging. Now, that's interesting that even though this is still part of the 2007 lineup, 
they changed the packaging like three times in 2007, the back of the packaging in 2007. So I thought that was interesting. Next we have one of my favorite vehicles from 2007. Number 64 of 75 cars, the Ford F100 panel delivery uh, truck. I guess you call that a truck or a van. I don't know. <laughs> a van truck. Truck van. <laughs> but yeah, that is so, you know, that is so lessening Matchbox right there. It really is. I just love this vehicle. I think it's just a really nice looking van truck or whatever you want to call it. I guess you call it a truck. But yeah, this is definitely going to be one of my favorite castings. I just love that damn vehicle. It's just so nice. Ford F100 panel delivery from 2007. Okay, and there's the back of the packaging. Alrighty. Uh, the next three cars are from the 2008 set of vehicles. This is number five of the 75 vehicles. Um, the Jaguar XK 120 SE, and I think that's actually a very nice looking car. I just love the way they did the the detailing on that the front of that car. It's just that is so nice the way that was painted on. And and same thing with the rear. I mean, just look at that. The way that was all painted, I mean, oh my god. That's actually a nice looking car, you know, with the tan interior. I think it's tan interior. The wheels seem to fit the car well. You know, they're not gaudy looking or overbearing. I think it's a nice looking car. Number five of the 75 car set from, what, 2008? Yeah, 2008. Let me double check, make sure... Yeah, the back of the packaging says copyright 2008. So and there's the back of the uh, back of the packaging. So as you can see, the packaging is still basically the same from 2007 to 2008. There's uh, number 10 of the 75 cars from uh, 2008. The 1970 Pontiac GTO Judge in yellow. Um, yeah, I think that's a, a nice car. Yeah, no tamp on the rear or the front, you know, just on the sides. But it's a nice looking car. I like the spoiler on the car. Looks pretty cool. But yeah, that's number 10 of the 75 cars from 2008. There's the rear of the package, back of the package. And the last car from these 10 cars I'm showing you today, this is um, number 45 of the 75 cars from 2008. It is a Volkswagen Caddy. And I think that's antifreeze green. I just love that antifreeze green color. Just a beautiful car. It's got nice uh, front tampa. No rear tampa. But the side tampa looks nice. Yeah, and the wheels look good with this car. This van, or whatever you want to call it. It's not too gaudy looking. It looks nice. I like it. Has clear windows. Looks like it does have an interior. Right side steering wheel. So it's for the American market, okay? But, yeah, that's nice. And there's the back of the packaging. All right. I figured before I end this video that I would first show you the other two uh, of these buses that I have because I think they're they're very nice. 
Um, this one here is from 2006. This one here is, of course, the 2007 one that I showed you earlier. And this one is from 2008. So 2006, 2007, 2008. And if you notice, the packaging basically looks the same. And I talk about packaging all the time to so that you become familiar with the different style packaging and you'll know okay whenever you see these different packaging okay uh, what time period is that from is that from the less than years is that from the international years is that from the Tyco years or is that from the Mattel years you'll instantly know what time period the packaging is from you'll also know within a given time period what year the packaging is from because you'll always hear me mention the year of the packaging there's a method to my madness is to teach you uh, especially you new uh, those of you that are new to collecting matchbox vehicles is to teach you the different you know about the different packaging so that you'll know you don't you won't even have to look you won't even have to look at the back of the card you'll know just by looking at the front of the package what time period it's from and what year it's from you'll know you'll start remembering it because of the videos that you see here on my channel so again this bus is from 2006 this bus is from 2007 and this bus is from 2008 the packaging basically is very similar okay they change you know this picture here but the style of the packaging is basically the same okay so I already showed this one so I'll show the other two up close and personal so as you can see them I think they're they're very nice I like these buses I think this is gonna be a favorite for a lot of you because I know a lot of you like collecting these buses these British buses especially if you live here in the United States because we don't have these buses as far as I know anywhere here in this country so this is so British you know it's just so you know British these these buses and then we have this one right here I just love that green color like, I don't know, olive drab green. It's not really forest green. It's more like an olive drab. A cross between forest green and olive drab. So, yeah, I think it's nice. I think it's a nice... I think these are very nice buses. I really do. I think they're, they're very nice. Anyway, those are those three buses. I thought I'd show them to you and also show you that the packaging from the three years are basically the same. And the same thing is true with the packaging that came out in 2005 and 2009. The packaging looks very similar for those five years, so remember that. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, stay tuned for more exciting content on my Desirable Matchbox YouTube channel. I have literally hundreds of videos in the works for this channel. So if you love Matchbox vehicles as much as I do, maybe you should subscribe to my channel. And by subscribing to my channel, that gives me the incentive to continue creating wonderful content for your viewing pleasure. My name is Hans George Campbell, and until next time,